Jerem Jordan. I'm Spencer Linton. It is our pleasure now to welcome in Carson Lundell of BYU Men's yeah. Golf all the way from New Jersey as he pre prepares for the U.S. Amateur. He's at the highest level of amateur golf. Carson, welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Okay, walk us through a day like today when uh, there's pressure on. You, you got to tee off. You got to take care of business. What's your schedule like today? Yeah, so today I just, I mean, I I have an afternoon tea time, so I kind of just slept as long as I possibly could, make sure I was well rested. Um, and then I'll go over to the course in about 40 minutes, um, get some lunch and kind of hang out for a little bit and then give myself about an hour, hour 15 to to practice and, and kind of, you know, get locked in and, and get ready to roll. What's the pressure or maybe it's no pressure, I don't know, of this tournament versus competing for BYU at a high level where you've played in NCAA championships. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's honestly pretty similar. Um, something like in U.S. Amateur, uh, I mean, luckily I've played, this is my third straight one, and, and the first time I played, I did really well. So I have a little bit, you know, of comfort and experience in it. But it's just, it's a big tournament. I mean, anytime you have a master's exemption and U.S. Open exemption on the line, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty big. So, yeah, it's a big stage. Is this fun for you or is it more pressure packed? What are your emotions like? Yeah, no, that's a good question. No, it's, I mean, it's a ton of fun. I mean, this is the whole reason I play the game, right? Is a, ch a chance to play, you know, in a major or, you know, any type of professional event. So, you know, this is the whole reason I play the game. And obviously, yeah, it's, you know, I'm going to feel some pressure out there. But at the end of the day, it's just golf. You know, it's just the same thing I've been doing the last, you know, eight years of my life all day, every day. So, you know, I'm just going to try to go out and hit fairways and greens, I guess, right? <laughs> what's the, uh, uh, what's the uh, you know, uniform combination for you today? What are you picking to wear? Wow, what a great question. I literally am <laughs> trying to figure it out. <laughs> <before this. laughs> what, what are the options? What like are we thinking? three or four shirts and two pairs of shorts. I was like, all right, now this one or that one, or <laughs> you know, hopefully make it to match play and then wear this one, so... Yeah, I don't know. It'll be a game time decision in about 30 minutes. <laughs> okay. I do like the confidence, though, because it is funny when, like, a playoff, you know, a team will, will pack for a playoff game or something, and, and it'll be like, okay, do they have two games? Do they have one? How many days in the hotel are they booking, right? You brought enough to win this tournament, I take it. Of course. Of course. Um, I mean, my goal is to, to be here until, I think, I think what, Saturday is the final round. So that's my goal, be here till Saturday. And so I brought enough to where, you know, that's hopefully where I end up. BYU golf standout Carson Lundell joining us from New Jersey where he is preparing to play at Ridgewood Country Club, the opening round of the U.S. Amateur Championship. Uh, how does the course look and how does the course play? Is it more link style? Is it lined with trees? Like what, what type of difficulties are you dealing with when it comes to course layout? Ridgewood is a, it's a beast. It's, I mean, I don't, I don't normally call courses beasts very often, but it's a, it's a big track. It's long. It's the rough is, I mean, you can't even hardly see your ball when it's, when it goes in the rough. And if you are in the rough, most of, most of the time, there's no chance you can even get it to the green. So you just mm. have to kind of chip out and it's long. I mean, you're, you're looking at about, you know, 7,500 yards more or less wow. at a par 71 at sea level. And I mean, it's tree lined. It's pretty, I mean, pretty narrow. So it's, you know, all, all around, it's a good track. And I, I mean, this is kind of course I love though. I love just a just a big course where you just you know got to every shot matters. You know you can't afford to to have one bad shot. So I'm I mean I I can't wait to get out there and play it. Yeah, with uh, that many yards and uh, the deep rough, it sounds like your typical United States Open course, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it seriously is. Like I I've heard multiple of the guys be like, no, I think this rough is is worse than U.S. Open rough. Like oh. it is, it's crazy. It's crazy. You're playing with three other teammates as well in the uh, amateur, which is cool. David Timmons, of course, Elijah Turner, and uh, Brock Goyan. What's it like to have four Cougs involved here? Oh, it's a ton of fun. It's a ton of fun. I mean, BYU is well represented here. And, yeah, it's just it's great to look over and, and see, you know, a bunch of my best buddies out there on the course, at the, you, know, you know, pretty much the biggest amateur event in the entire world. And to have four of us here is pretty special. Having played in, uh, like you said, two previous amateurs, what have you learned in those that are it's going to help you today? 
yeah, I mean, they were so different at uh, the one at Bandon Dunes. I just, you know, I was just so patient, just so, so, so patient. And, you know, I, I, I had a great first day. And that second day when you're in, you know, a good spot is extremely pressure packed. Um, and then at Oakmont last year, you know, I kind of got the, you know, I guess the bad luck of the draw on the tee times is only one of only one guy from match play of the 64 got in from my wave. And I kind of felt myself pressing last year. You know, I, I knew I was a little bit behind the eight ball and, and, you know, I, I, I felt like I was kind of pressing, you know, to get birdies and to be more aggressive, which kind of ended up stinging me. Yeah. Um, and so, I mean, this, this U S amateur, I'm just trying to be patient. I'm trying to let, let everything come to me. I'm going to take what, you know, what I'm given and be aggressive when I can and, you know, take my medicine when, you know, when I need to do that as well. So. Listen, summon the performances you had at 11 under in the Cougar Classic and 10 under at the Regional. You, you were you were uh, lights out. Also, you're in New Jersey. If you could play quarterback for the Jets, just uh, not go hit up the facility. They need some of the next two to four weeks for Zach for a sec, <laughs> if you have a minute. I know, I know. Yeah, I've thought about it. I mean, I, I can sling it, so. <laughs> Probably not as well as him, but I can give you a 40-yarder, sure. <laughs> Carson, great to catch up with you. Enjoy it out there today. Uh, we're we're going to be following closely, and let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma to go and rock that course. Always, always. Okay, thank you guys. You got it.